Okay, we're gonna go to um, a grave hill, um, ancient, uh, probably from the Iron Age. Uh, if I can find it, we're gonna bicycle there for the first time today, so. Let's see how this goes. Ah! <laughs> ah! It's Yeah, after some uh, adventure with the, the Vinbo 2, I decided to just hold the camera with my hand. First, I'm gonna see if I can reach my husband, Gregor, who is a bit faster than me, because I had to stop for traffic. Okay, I'm gonna stop by by a rune stone we have over here. It's a rune stone which Torfast and Ketilvi raised over their father Torsten in the name of God. Ah, I stopped. What are you doing? It's a pity it's, uh, it's not especially restored. Uh, the, the curators have uh, a special. Uh, natural color that won't destroy the original carvings, you can say that in the stone. So you can see a little bit of the of this red color, but it's not the original color, of course. It's a very nice stone, it's a, but yeah, it's a pity. They should restore it a little bit, give it some, give it back some of its splendor. Did you know it's not, it's not just uh, it's not just this rune stone. This is a grave field. Everything here. But uh, I guess you. It's so overgrown with vegetation right now. But uh, there is several big mounds here, piles of rocks. So we take a. It seems a little bit calmer. I see a church over here, which is nice. I think we're on the right track. We'll see. I want to try to avoid traffic as much as possible. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, we think we're on the right track. Gregor has been here once before with a friend, so what the lovely house is here. I'm a little bit skeptical, but uh, I'll join my husband here. <laughs> Really impressive. I've never been here before, and it's really it's big. So now we're gonna climb it. <laughs> Are you ready? So, according to the information, this whole area is filled with with uh, remains, ancient stuff. We have this main hill which is, they think it's, the, it's a royal grave. It was some kind of Viking king uh, from the Iron Age who, who's buried there. There's a stone actually on top, which is quite cool. I don't know if there's any runes or any other markings on it, but we'll see when we're up there. There's always a very, very special feeling entering places like this. I mean, this being a place for worship, maybe worship of gods, maybe worship of uh, ancestors. Uh, and it's incredible, this, this hill, uh, which is artificial, was built during the Iron Age, during the migration period, so there was a lot of people uh, migrating all over Europe and Scandinavia and one of them was a king I don't know if that was Nordian he obviously died and was buried here maybe together with his family or maybe animals I don't know how long they stay there it's not so much info actually uh, on it but it's an amazing absolutely incredible place
this is fucking incredible. This stone here, that I call it a megalith, is such an impressive piece of, I don't know, piece of stone, a <laughs> piece of rock. Why haven't you told me about this, Gregor, before? I told you. You show, you saw photos also. Today, yeah. No. I've seen photos before? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm only photos and mine. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. I'm still, you know, I must have, I don't know why I haven't been up here. This is like, it's enormous. It's a, such a gigantic hill. And I, you know, I, I don't know what to say, really. Imagine living here. Such a cool place. Yeah, we should brought a compass. I'm I wondering how this stone is aligned, you know, with the uh, regarding of course which part of the year it is, but you know, sunset and and and, uh, and everything. Does it have something to do with with uh, midsummer maybe or winter solstice? I don't know. I don't know. It's very very cool. You know, you can imagine if you stand in front of it here that something will arise uh, at the end of it, at the top of it. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye to the stone. Bye bye. Beautiful, fantastic stone. Let's see if I can get down here. Oh. birds out on the field so I guess Gregor is going to try to get them on photo. Try to find Gregor here he's uh, escaped into the wilderness and I'm just so afraid I will get ticks or something because we have a lot of ticks there. Ah I see him. But, uh, Gregor's got some wild animals captured on camera and that's cool. So let's see where we end up after this. I have a fantastic bike. I actually bought a new seat for today. So now my, my ass feels like a queen, basically. Totally ass massage constantly while biocycling. That's cool. What's interesting is that this area where we stopped and we took some photos of animals is called the runesten, which means runestone. Rune and I, of course, wonder, are there any runestones here? And actually, Gregor is just pointing at something here, so let's see what that can be. You found something? There's, ah, look at that! Suddenly there's a lot of traffic here, but I'm gonna take a look at the rune stone. Pretty nice rune stone, you don't see the runes so well, but yeah, it's a logical name for the place at least. Let's move on. <laughs> I think we can see the church in the distance, look quite grey and, uh, you know, not scary, but it, it looks uh, quite uh, imposing, actually. This is Skånela kyrka. It's actually a quite gorgeous church. We have a very, very nice rune stone meeting us. It says, Jorbjörn raised these stones after Sigbjörn, his father. So it's a memory of their father. And there's a Christian cross in the middle. So it's from the Christian period of, uh, of the Viking age. Okay, let's see where Gregor disappeared. This is an amazing, big, big stone. Beautiful carvings. Uh, according to the sign here, it's the Viger uh, made the stone uh, probably after the memory of his son. Fastlök uh, also made the stone after his brother Fulluge. So it seems like there's been two people who kind of 
co-worked on one stone here in memories of their relatives. This here. Skånela church is was raised around 1160 and there's like uh, according to some information I read it's like you know 15 20 rune stones in and around the church they often used rune stones to build churches you know for for the entrance or in the walls because it was big massive stones but maybe also teasing former uh, the former Nordic uh, religion uh, in some way you know uh, that the, this is the new religion this is Christianity so we can use your 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 stones to build our temple of some worships with um, could be could be a little bit teasing could be nothing at all but it's quite common actually in those uh, these old churches to find rune stones even in the walls so we're gonna go to the castle the castle is not that far away oh here's another one look at this oh. used as a Used as a, as a building block to the to the church itself. Catville and Inger raised this stone after, and the ruins is gone. But there's something about the Mother of God here, and there's also Ingevald and Gislög uh, made these stones after Ingemund, their son. You know, around th thousand years ago, it was made. So we're on the way to Skåne Holmes Castle. Here's a car. So we're trying to avoid the Oh, it's um, the sheep. Yeah. Some kind of stone here we're going to take a look at, so let's see if we can find it. I claim this is some kind of private property, but I'm, so I'm always nervous. But it's quite cool, we're going upwards here. It's a fantastic little hill. Nice. Cool old cage or something. Here's some stone. Looks uh, quite modern. From this side. Yeah? From this side? Yeah. And here should be. Wow! Scheiße! This is super impressive. This, I think this is the biggest rune stone I've seen. Let's see what it says. The other side of the rune stone is a modern you know, shrine to, to someone who died and this was, that was made in 1820. The other side though, it was made uh, around a thousand years ago. Also some kind of memory some kind of memorial for someone who died it's a extremely impressive runestone very very cool i mean it's like i don't know how how tall do you think it is three meter four four meter maybe it's an impressive piece of of art absolutely fucking amazing Okay, this was a really, really cool runestone and my husband is, of course, walking directly into private property. That's fine. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot more shy when it comes to, to okay, he wants me to come. <gasps> I'm nervous. There's actually a castle here. I can see it coming in from the side. So it's, I mean, I think it's partly private property, probably maybe the, the people who uh, who take care of the castle lives here. Maybe having some farming or animals or something. The castle is, maybe it's not open for public at the moment, but it's, it's here at least. Snake. 
absolutely beautiful castle here. It's called the Holmes Castle. and this place is simply amazing it's just by the water you can see on the other side uh, the reservation with the hill we visited a while ago you can't see it from here of course but it's like uh, I don't believe in heaven but it feels like heaven <laughs> Okay, I think this is it. You've seen some uh, grey mounds and rune stones and finally a castle. So it's been a great trip with bicycle here around uh, Rosensberg and uh, Skånela and uh, you know a little bit north of Stockholm. So that's it. Now I'm gonna remove my shoes from my sweaty feet and try out the water. So have a great day and thanks for watching. <sighs> oh. Summer.